All right. So I wanted to take down. Drop. Critical hit. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Um. Hmm. I do not know. Um, go with this to start with, I think. No. I think we'll go with this to start with. And then... I also like the like this one. Huh. All right, we'll try that. So give us some that ah, training. Down. Let's go. You have the firearms. I do. I do. Those Don't know what good they'll do in the rain. And shouts beyond the but I guess we'll find out. Is that the trouble you were talking about? No. You will know soon enough. Till then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Sorry, Katie's not in her bed. What up? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, um. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Fire. Does the uh, face cam look okay? Change the lighting pretty dramatically, so I'm not sure if it looks good or not. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. Be shunned. Ross, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We'll discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Hey, calm down. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlawed trader charged for a weapon of that make. <laughs> it wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I, I should have done this part last night. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Okay. I mean, I can switch over. There's, I think I'm using the orange ones right now. Actually, let me try this. Hang on. So that's down one click of intensity. Seems a little better, actually. Yeah, I do think I like that better. I didn't think I would, but I was just not sure what effect it would have on the green screen, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. All right, what are we doing? Oh, resting at the campfire. Nice. Shush. <laughs> yeah, Mike, um, opening a gate for an outcast. Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. Um, Mike got me a Sony Brio. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent. But we are outside of the embrace. And, uh, these are the true ones. It's just a better camera, but the, the original one that I had, um, 
Marcus. The original one that I had had a um, a ring light on it, so it was like it worked for everything for that I needed. Um, but once I had a second camera and a better camera, I wanted to use that one for me rather than using it for the cat, <laughs> which is what I'd been doing. Um, so I put it over to my main camera and swapped the the ring light camera over to the cat bed. Um, and that way I don't have to have every single light in my room blasting all at the same time to have enough light for the green screen to work. So, um, so I bought some cheap ish and they were 40 bucks for the pair, 45 bucks for the pair or whatever. Um, so that I didn't have to, uh, swap things around. So it took me a little while and I may swap these out to the like red ones. Um, yeah, I had the, uh, the Razer Kyo, Kyo, whatever the hell they call it. Um, it's a good web camera, but, um, the Brio is just newer and better. Like the stats on it are just better. So one of the only things that people didn't like about it is the, the, uh, stand, but I had a, like a, like an external stand for the one that I had that I was using for my Kyo. So, um, swapping it out was just kind of a no brainer. So anyway. Here we go. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Nice. Yeah. There we go. Um. Follow path of destruction. Follow the path. It's not far. The cabin. What happened to it? Sure. Let's see. Okay. Machine. That's one. What kind of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Damn. They're around here getting fucked up. Washer. It won't be much farther now. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribes bring us on this mission? They did. The kills we fast are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. Okay. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, <laughs> if you're not careful. Made it be a Debbie Downer. Why is there so much stuff okay, every time I turn around? Jesus. Hell, that shit over here. Entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths. How many were there? Just bring you here to answer questions. I mean, 
you here to deal with that. Well, this doesn't sound good. Ask your Dorito. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. What happens, I will not intervene. Stand. You're on your own. I should stay out of sight. Use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Now, okay. Huh? Because there shouldn't be a threshold on I should stay the of mic in or the the I game input at all. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Okay, so let's do this. Slightly different way here. So if we put Ah, got him. Hmm. Um. Oh. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Hmm. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against the dangerous new machine. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? Mm. The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. Okay. My tribe? You are correct. You there was no suppression on it. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone Hopefully that will be better. strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. 
That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're well, finished here. He's definitely Fine. gonna die now. <laughs> Why you gotta go and say that? This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. Okay. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? <laughs> but if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you. None your damn business. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Thanks. Uh Nice. Save. Save is important. Oop. Little fox. Okay. Oh, this. What is that? I'm going to do my best. Weird, 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 weird decisions that YouTube makes. Um, it's funny because in my head I was like, do I kill everything or do I just leave well enough alone? <laughs> I guess we know the answer to that now, don't we?
Uh, yes, I did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> they have a, uh... Calm, calm. They have a, um, little eye beam thing. Why are there sudden all of these dead watchers? I didn't kill any of these, did I? Side. There we go. Wow, that was more effective than I expected. <laughs> huh. Well, there you go. So we'll have to uh, store that one in our back pocket for later. Holy cow! Apparently, shooting the blaze on their backs or whatever is. Uh, Makes for a bomb. <laughs> Have unused outfit, whatever. Yeah. Um. Okay, so weapons. Oh, is it in crafting? Modify weapons. What is? Damage coil. I like damage. Damage seems good. Outfits. Resist. Mm. Ooh, what's this? Tripcaster ammo. Carry more stuff. Um, it's easy. This kind of seems like no-brainer stuff to me. All right, upgrade. Upgrade. Ridgewood. Um, okay. Fire kiln, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, I was, um, I mean, I was, I knew that it was like a, like a weak spot and whatever, but I didn't realize that it would actually like make them blow up. <laughs> That was uh, a nice little surprise. Oop. What's up, dude? You just sunbathing? What's happening? You Did I aggro something? To an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? <laughs> Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up let alone go after her. 
Will you help me find her? You know the matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. Oh. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. Oh. Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first and it tore up my leg. I barely got away and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina, my mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. Side quest? You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes, southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. <laughs> Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. Father that can't find his daughter. Please, help me set things right. I'll do okay. what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Okay. Uh, quest. Quests. Okay. Bridgewood. Nice. That must be Arana. Sounds like she's in trouble. I can't get down. Help! Okay, can I? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Somebody, please! I'm working on it. Calm down. Somebody, please! I'm surrounded. What have you given away? Oop! Overcorrecting. Want to come do it? Shush. Thanks for saving me from those machines. You're welcome. Where'd you go? Can I talk to you for a minute? Where, where are you? Oh. <laughs> Master of observation. Thank you. Welcome. I thought those watchers were going to tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. Let me guess. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. Getting I just there. can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. I think the thing that I have to remember is there's aim assist a little bit. Your father is so I don't actually have to be like dead on. He gets <laughs> I just have to get pretty close and then just let fly. In the bushes. He just he doesn't want to lose you, Arana. And his I leg know. is fucked up. But I do Hello? wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to Mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it too, but then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's Heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. Do you know where he is? <laughs> yeah. That's all we can do is hope. Uh, let's see. Which way? Oh. Alright, oh, 
There we go. Nice. I need one of these little silver Doritos. They seem very handy. Should be able to find that spear. Oh, that's a fox. Ah, okay. So we've just. I mean, isn't it a Dorito? Kind of looks like a Dorito. to craft some things. Alright. There you go. Mother's cradle. I think part of it is um, one of the streamers I watch is a, uh, a big Battlefield guy, and uh, there are some periods where Battlefield was a game that you just kind of, like, you shot at, like, the enemy Dorito color. <laughs> Good for an old remedy. The trail ends here. How about it cross the river? Better check the other side. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this thing can do animal tracks in the rain. Seems like it'd be handy. Become like the next dog about Oh, oh shit. Uh, best guess? <laughs> I also invested in a talent that actually allows me like a short bit of slowed time that I can trigger when I'm aiming, which does help quite a lot, so. Um, but yeah, it's it is nice to be able to know that there is a little bit of uh, a little bit of give if I accidentally run myself out of out of spear. arrows in the middle of combat. Time to Ooh. Get that spear. Okay. It's uh Am I gonna have to go up there, or do I bring it down? Probably gonna have to go up there. Okay, can I go up? Uh, what? Ah, uh, there's a ladder. Okay. Wow. Drama up here. I can go up some more if I want. Hmm. 
Yeah, it does seem like trap time. I think I gotta get rid of this guy first, though. Oops. A little scared there. Oh. Probably should have gone back and uh, just in case you come wandering over this way. Rana will be happy to have it back. I like the um, the automatic critical hit, the critical melee hit on stunned opponents. Super handy. I like that. I also like not feeling like I'm completely um, dependent on my aim with the bow and arrow. <laughs> Get them all? Oh, there's the scrap it's down here, I think. Or watcher. Oh my now. Nice. <laughs> Kids gotta learn. I think at some point I'm going to have to start, like, killing a lot of the wildlife. Because it seems like there's, like, a fatty meat or something like that that you needed to collect. These are helpful. Bitter, though.
They seem to be running away still, which is good. I do wish that the uh That's it. I'm already gone. Wish that uh like the icons for what the hell was that? The icons for like what? Like I wish that the medicine pouch oh, thing was different than the like sticks, like stones and everything. Wah! Holy cow! All right. Um. Let's see. Equipped to take you on. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Thought there were watchers. Maybe not. Almost out. Mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. Yeah. First you send a Rana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. And me too. Don't you I think? I can't believe anyway. you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Oh. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. How about I you keep this one? To help us, take the other one. But you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. You're welcome. So, did you actually make my spear better, or...? When I think what it would have been like if I had lost Arana, I... No. Thank he you. said he would, right? If I'm not crazy? Ah, there it is. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, but you say it! Uh, okay. Off we go. Always good because I have this habit of trying to pick up literally everything. Is that nothing? Okay. They're going to be so happy to see me. Great. <laughs> Aloy. What? You must speak. Okay. So, it's time. Are you ready? No. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. <laughs> Soon it'll all seem familiar. That is how that works. Like so. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any 
other concerns? How the hell is she supposed to know who that is? Any final lessons? <laughs> no. You learned every lesson okay. the wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. Hair color, not height. Sure my bow and spear give us anything? Much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you wanted all these years, Aloy. And some answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting. There'll more than bacon. you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Okay. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You... That's... You will not find me. That's not how that works. <laughs> Here. If you are of the tribe, you can't talk to him anymore. Take this. Too. That's how it works. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back it's my wish that you embrace the tribe you've lived in isolation long enough Not until now i didn't for your sake it is a pretty good beard i must go where you will never find me and pretty well kept for a guy that lives in the woods too this this is goodbye better not be this then it will remind me of you of everything you did and how you helped prepare me for this day <laughs> yeah doing something heroic though right saving the village or but the cord is strong may all mother bless you Eli. Very weird walk, but you know, I guess it's fine. How could he do this? Today of all days. What do you mean? I have to keep my mind on the proving. Wait, is I going this way? Yeah. I mean, this is like the whole point of who he is, right? He wouldn't just be like, oh yeah. Anyway. You will turn back, outcast. You will shut the fuck up. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. <coughs> Damn. <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must <coughs> leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. Uh, we will talk later. Is this May the guy the that fell off the cliff? <laughs> what is going on? 
probably the guy that fell off the cliff. I was getting down. Gonna uh, munch some food? No? Okay. God, it's a forest fire. Because it's. Okay. Hey, hey that. Roy. What? It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? Who's the kid that fell off the name cliff? Correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. Oh. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? How Nothing. did you know to, how to fix Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Forty-five percent scrap. Is that what that is? Huh. Here. Ooh, free sample box. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. You're not wearing well, it. it's yours. <laughs> I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. No. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about... Envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see Ooh. some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Okay. Especially not when you're drunk. Get down from dumb there dumb. now. Oh, you that's just what you I'm want, wrong. isn't it? For me to fall on my head. I mean, I like kinda. Might be kind of funny. Aloy, over here. Oh, hey. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the Wilds. 
Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? I mean, Truth is, could. I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Hmm. Uh... I could get the rope caster. Warbo. Uh, I think we're okay for now. Always happy to take your shards. Not today. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first. We have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. This won't end well. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude Killers and slavers! Yeah! Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Hold your fruit, nor if, uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. <laughs> oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. Well, that dude appeared out of nowhere. my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his Ooh. father's atrocities. A little patricide? Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? No. We're still pissed. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Wait, what? Does he have a Dorito? He has a Dorito. Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Yeah? Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? Yeah, you can tell and by the subtitles. Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. <laughs> Cheeto. <laughs> As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? 
The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, Fair. the Karja don't just fight, they build. But well, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Oh. Hang on. Oh. It does appear to be. Now it's gone complete. And we're back. Apologies. Gotta fix it. I think we're back. Thank you for the heads up. I appreciate it. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. I do. Or an invitation. Always good to know. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was in war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? Yes. I grew up as an outcast shunned by the tribe oh yeah i've heard the nora do that <laughs> that seems cruel if you ask me no one asked you but even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines right how they get deadlier every year well the mad sun king figured if he spilled enough blood to the sun god it would calm the machines oh. it didn't work but for years he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice my sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. Wow. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. This guy is super hyped to get us over there. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And free booze. There you go. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. <laughs> when a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. Or put trip casters down. Then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. 
So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. Ew. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. <laughs> tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hit when a hunt oh. so if that Like the song? Yeah, t so. Okay, I thought it would be different. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. Oh, I don't want to be wearing it. Vanguard of Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, like to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that Blessing thing, too, so... Uh, See you around, maybe? Seems a little, uh... Oop. Down. This way? Yeah, this way. What's that? Oh, that's are in place. Ah. Yeah. Expecting more tomatoes? <laughs> uh, in truth, I I thought they were throwing stones. Stones hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. <laughs> if you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that angers these people. I guess he's not a complete idiot. Oh. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. I don't know what that means. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. With what the power of your mind? How did we? Oh, we have, we have to. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me. I mean. Get here. All mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? 
a glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Then they just throw him up and then just bounced? You're not gonna, like, hang out for a minute? Maybe watch him? No? There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Shame that musician didn't come back this year. You know, the one with the long dark hair. Hey. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn it. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. I believe that. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Uh, uh. You're not a very convincing liar. <laughs> Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only when they're Only lying. The who aren't telling the truth. <laughs> Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. Mm -hmm. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shot by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. Mm -hmm. You should try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. Ooh. Are they gonna try and murder everyone? What the hell? Super sus. Quick save. Oop. Okay. You might want to ask Chuff. Shut the fuck up. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Seems nice. <laughs> oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. Oh, you're, you're very present here. <laughs> what you get for being a dick? Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The uh, motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Bast, bast, bast. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood we of a saw you here. talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? 
This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. It, uh, yeah. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't Not you? exactly. I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show she you She was a little tomorrow. dickhead kid. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. God, and he talks him, the he talked about himself in the third outcast. person, too. Not me. Oh, are you going to uh. shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> Okay. She wins. Nice Hello. job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Indeed. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. At least, uh... So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? I thought you were sleeping. You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. You can always go mm. back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. I was gonna, and then you started talking. 